Party dance time. And action. Hit the button, baby. My friend, we cannot keep this a secret any longer. The solar system possesses an additional ninth planet. To what? Where? Why, uh, what? Come on, man, out with it. We haven't got all day to waste. There's a real planet out there still to be found. This is the most fantastic story I've ever heard. Okay, cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. <laughs> Start see pictures, ain't you? Every day we we have, of course, a little bit extra of concerning news. There's something out there. I don't know if you know this. Thor news is for winners, and that's why you're here to so stick around. Stay cool. Thor news presents. Can your heart stand the shocking fact? About Planet Nine. Oh, this actually might even be true. The object, which the researchers have nicknamed Planet Nine. Hey y'all, I just wanted to set the record straight. As many have heard, many scientists have found evidence for a giant planet within our solar system. When I said giant, I mean about the size of Neptune, anywhere to eight times the mass of Jupiter. So it looks like there's a 99% chance that bugger's out there. They're looking for it. And honestly, they probably found it and they're slowly releasing it to us. Or they made it all up to distract us away from the fact that our national debt's at 20 trillion and we got robots killing people in tons of countries for lukewarm reasons. Anyway, I'm here at the Jack Parsons Jet Propulsion Laboratory at the California Institute of Technology letting you guys know that the Saturn spacecraft is not affected by hypothetical Planet Nine. And remember, out of all the planets, the evilest planet is Mars. And then comes Pluto, and then Saturn gets dragged to the, like the bronze medal winner of the evil planets. You may think it's different than that, but it's not. I mean, Saturn just stands for justice. Mars screwed it all up. And so as a Jupiter jumper, man, we can just get Saturn back in balance. It'll take all the power out of Mars's douchebaggery. And the thing is, Mars is so small, it's got Napoleon complex, you know? So, and everybody knows Mars needs women. Why? Because Mars has like John Boner orange skin. So nobody really thinks Mars is that attractive. Anyway. What's it talking about? Oh, yeah. The Saturn spacecraft is not affected by hypothetical Planet Nine. Kind of like hypothetical gravitational lensing. Or the hypothetical working James Webb Space Telescope. Or the hypothetical human space exploration. Or the hypothetical bridge between NASA and intelligent adults who have real questions like, hey, dude, why haven't we gone back to the moon forever? Anyway, I'm going to read the story. For God, I do everything. Oh, good. But the best news is I could say contrary. That is a fun word to say. Jerk asses. Contrary to recent reports, NASA's Cassini spacecraft is not experiencing unexplained deviations in its orbit around Saturn. According to mission managers and orbit determination experts at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, several recent news stories have reported that a mysterious anomaly in Cassini's orbit could potentially be explained by the gravitational tug of a theorized massive new planet in our solar system lurking far beyond the orbit of Neptune. While the proposed planet's existence may eventually be confirmed by other means, mission navigators have observed no unexplained deviations in the spacecraft's orbit since its arrival there in 2004. All right. Although we'd love it if Cassini could help detect a new planet in the solar system, we do not see any perturbations in our orbit that we cannot explain with our current models, said Earl Mays, the Cassini project manager at JPL. An undiscovered planet outside the orbit of Neptune, 10 times the mass of Earth, would affect the orbit of Saturn, not Cassini. Oh yeah, man, said William Faulkner, a planetary scientist at JPL. Faulkner develops planetary orbit information used for NASA's high-precision spacecraft navigation. This could produce a signature in the measurements of Cassini while in orbit around Saturn if the planet was close enough to the Sun. We do not see any unexplained signature above the level of the measurement noise in Cassini data taken from 2004 to 2016. A recent paper predicts that if 
data tracking Cassini's position were available out to the year 2020, they might be used to help rule out some possible locations of the theoretical planet in its long orbit around the sun. Man, they had to have found it by now. They just didn't tell them. It almost seems impossible that they couldn't have found it. Yeah, I'm double negative. That's awesome. Cassini's mission is planned to end in late 2017. When the spacecraft, too low on fuel to continue on a longer mission, will plunge into Saturn's atmosphere. Isn't that thing nuclear? Isn't that thing nuclear? You know, seems irresponsible to just crash on the planet. Why don't you do what you do with Earth? Just let that crap float around forever. The Cassini Huggins mission is a cooperative project of NASA, ESA, and the Italian Space Agency. JPL, a division of the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, manages the mission for NASA's Science Mission Directorate in Washington. Okay, so there you go. Man, that story is boring. So no, ladies and gentlemen, the cat hair of doom that is on the stereo cameras has been there forever. That is not messing up Cassini's orbit. Wait a second. And I Hypothetical Planet 9 is not messing up because he's alright. But what about Sedna? What about Eris? That's what I want to know. Alright, whatever. Peace out. An undiscovered planet outside the orbit of Neptune, 10 times the mass of Earth, would affect the orbit of Saturn, not Cassini. Oh yeah, man. An undiscovered planet outside the orbit of Neptune, 10 times the mass of Earth, would affect the orbit of Saturn, not Cassini. Oh yeah, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this Planet X story is crazier than I am.